Yo, this new like SM ATF frame we've got here. Uh, we've got these 21 inch top tube, uh, nice sort of 13.4 back end, but if you run it all the way back, probably gets around 13.9, 13.875. Uh, 11.7 bottom bracket on this one, uh, 75 degree head tube angle, uh, 71 degree C tube angle. C tube on this one is like uh, about 8.5 inches from center to center. Um, so that's sort of medium height, you know, it doesn't look like a scooter, but it's not super tall. Um, got some nice gussets up the front here for extra strength. This one's like, obviously, uh, s and newest frame. Um, it's not as light as the latest run of like signature frames they did, like, you know, the uh, Randy Brown and the Cardona or the uh, Cam Wood. It's a little bit heavier at around just a smidge over 4.75 pounds. Um, but that said, it's going to hold up a bit better, but not weigh as much as an anchor, you know. Uh, I've got Mike Aiken Series 4 frame out in front of me here. Um, this one, we've got these in 20.75 uh, and 20.5 top tube. Is uh, If you don't know about this one, you haven't been looking in the right places, man. Uh, much anticipated Fit Bico frame. This one's a little bit heavier than the Series 3.5, but definitely a bit tougher. You can see nice tape top tube here. Nice uh, down tube and new down tube gusset. Uh, integrated head tube with the S4 logo on it. Just that extra bit of wank factor to make it cool. Um, slight new dropouts as well. Um, big enough for a peg, uh, but still small enough to you know not be overbuilt. Um, they lowered the bottom bracket a little bit this time. It's like a uh, like 11.6 on this one. So a little bit lower, a little bit more stability, but it's still got that 13.4 inch back end. Keep it nice and tight, you know. Uh, breaks up on the seat stays, integrated seat clamp, uh, mid bottom bracket. Uh, weight on this one's around about four and three quarters, you know. Um, of course, made in California by s and uh, This is one of the best frames we've had in for a while. You gotta check this one out. Okay, here we got the T1 Ruben frame. Uh, this is T1's first frame made outside the USA. It's made in Taiwan with a bit of help from fly bikes. Uh, we've got some nice features on this that you see on some of the fly bikes frames, like an offset machined head tube, Spanish bottom bracket, Dillon mounts, and also there's integrated seat clamp design, which you know is tough and it's gonna work. Um, geometry wise, the frame's pretty cool. It's got a 74 degree head tube angle. So it's a little bit slower than your average frame these days. That's good if you're a guy that rides trails or you want a little bit more control on the front end. 11.75 uh, bottom bracket, 75 degrees on the C-tube angle. Uh, you got about 13.75 to around about 14 and 125 on the back. So um, you can have it short or if you run the dropout a little bit further back, you'll have a bit more control at the trails, you know. Uh, chain stay brake mounts on this one. Uh, the weight on this is around about just smidge under five pounds, around 4.75 pounds. Um, so plenty light enough, but you can see it's also built to be strong enough. What do we got next? Okay, uh, we got the United K40 here. Um, We've also got the L40s, which uh, the K and the L stand for Kai and Leo 40. Um, K40 in this royal blue color is obviously the Kai 40. Uh, the L40s are like the Leo 40s. Uh, we also have these frames in black um, in 21 and 21.3. And the black frames come with the graphics for both the, uh, the Kai and the Leo 40. So, you, you know, you can choose which sibling you love the most, just like any good parent does. Uh, now these frames have a 74.5 degree head tube angle, 71 on the seat tube, mid bottom bracket, also got a tapered seat tube on this model so that way, I mean aside from the cool look, it uh, saves a little bit of weight, doesn't sacrifice much strength you know. Um, pretty similar to last year's geometry, you know, 13.75 on the back end, you might have noticed as well on the back end here, this year it's something really cool. We've got some uh, dome ends on the stays here, on the tapered stays that get a bit slimmer. 
sort of dome ends, and most importantly, an integrated chain tensioner. Um, just the bolt, super clean. Um, it screws into the frame here and pushes your axle back, and uh, super handy, you know. And it's not like the ones that hang out the back and it's going to hang up on ice picks or anything. Um, also, you know, on this frame, 11.8 on the bottom bracket, uh, 74.5 on the front. And a uh, nice weight below five pounds, around 4.75. Plenty strong enough, plenty light enough. Good enough for the 4A guys, more than good enough for you, you know. Uh, check it out and tell your sister I said hi. All right, man, was, this class was full, but um, I guess it's like uh, pretty much empty now, or you know, one eighth full if you're an optimist. I got some uh, nice pizza here too. This this was a triangle. It's not a triangle anymore. It's had some bites out of it, but you know that's that's no reason to judge it. Don't be a prick. <laughs>